Hey, everybody. Well, the good news is that I practiced for five minutes, not eight. So this will be a quick presentation for you. Uh, my name is Grant. I'm a VP of Client Success at a studio called Freshworks Studio. And we build custom software for companies all around the world. Uh, and today, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about one of our projects centered around augmented reality. So most of you being in the tech community here are probably pretty familiar with the concept of augmented reality. Uh, Pokemon Go really brought augmented reality to the forefront of the gaming conversation a few years ago with its, with its rapid rise. Since we're in this area too, you're probably pretty familiar with Microsoft's HoloLens product. Um, but the applications there are, are largely B2B, industrial design, commercial, and a little bit of retail. So the question that we find people in the technology community and a lot of our customers who are building products and trying to figure out how to better build products for their customers, the question they're asking is, how can we leverage AI, ML, augmented reality, or virtual reality to build better products? Uh, and, and a lot of times it gets spun around and how can we really use AR and these other technologies to build something that's actually useful, that actually creates value for our business, for our customers, for our employees. Uh, and so that's what I want to talk about today. I'm going to talk about a little bit about a, a product that we built in the last year uh, for one of our great customers. I'm going to talk a little bit about the technology behind it and some of the advancements there, some of the lessons that we learned. Um, and hopefully that's uh, useful to some folks here. So Grouse Mountain. Uh, Grouse Mountain is a premier mountain destination resort up in Vancouver, uh, British Columbia. If you're not familiar with it, it's similar to a Whistler, a little bit smaller. Uh, but they have dozens and dozens and dozens of attractions all around the mountain, from summer to winter, uh, lots and lots of things you can do. And they engaged with us uh, to try and figure out how we could build a better customer experience for them uh, centered around a mobile app experience. So we built for them shiny new mobile app, everything that you'd expect a destination tourism type of app to have. You can buy tickets, you can see schedules, you can do all that sort of stuff. But we also bu built an augmented reality feature that when you're on the mountain, anywhere within the resort, you can pull up your phone and see where all of the different things are. You can click on those, on those digital tiles and get more information about those things uh, and really enhance that experience and engagement with, with, uh, with them. So uh, this was a, a really successful feature for them. Uh, it launched late last year. You can download the app. Um, and it ended up providing a, real, a lot of value. We actually went to the mountain and sent a, a bunch of our team members to test it. It was a really, really cool experience. A um, lot of value for, for customers, right? You can find your way around the mountain without carrying a map. Um, you no more getting lost on hikes because there's in real time updates for you so you can figure out where you're going. And for the business, better customer experience, more engagement typically leads to more revenue. So there's a lot of value on both sides of this. So I'm going to talk about the tech a little bit. Um, for those who aren't familiar, there's been a lot of technology development, especially in native mobile platforms within the last few years with, uh, with the popularity of AR. So both iOS and Android have AR frameworks built right into them called AR Kit and AR Core. So a few years ago, what you may have had to develop from scratch, you can now get up and running really, really quickly with these native frameworks. Uh, and what the native frameworks do is they essentially create a virtual world, right, with those six axes on the previous slide uh, that allow developers to immediately get a mapping of that world with the phone that that person is holding as the center of that universe. It maps using the camera everything that's in that room. It allows you to place digital objects right on the floor uh, or on the table. The most common application that I think many of you may have experienced is in the Amazon mobile app. If you're ever shopping for furniture, sometimes you can click an option that says, see this piece of furniture in your room. And it'll go ahead and use this technology to place that chair or that bookshelf or what have you in your room. So all of this is available via these frameworks, which is really, really cool. Any native developer can get up and running with some basic implementations like this really, really quickly, which is awesome. But we wanted to do more than that. We didn't just want to place digital pins in the physical world. We needed them to move and update and be more responsive to a person as they're hiking around the mountain, as they're riding a gondola. And the native AR frameworks just don't do that out of the box. There's more that needs to happen. So the couple of challenges that we experienced were that the native AR frameworks built into mobile applications don't do anything really well over about 100 yards. Um, they are really good for placing something in a room right in front of you. They're not very good at placing something 10 miles away and giving you a good waypoint or finder for that. The other thing they're not very good at is updating the world origin as you move. So if I place something in the room or place a, a pin a mile away and I move like this, it's not going to know that that pin is now 10 degrees to my right and it's just going to tell me to go that way for 10 miles and that's not very good because I won't end up in the right spot. So we tapped into another native API that, that uh, both iOS and Android have called Core Location. 
And a court location is much more common, right? It can find a place on a map, give us the latitude and longitude, and allow us to map our way there. It's what Google Maps uses, what Apple Maps uses. So we put these two technologies together, and as soon as we plant a digital pin, we use core location to get the latitude and longitude. We calculate the distance between those two items, uh, as well as their specific location. So now if I move 100 yards over to the left, it's automatically calculating that thing, just move 12 degrees over to the right, and we're updating our pins in real time all the time as you're walking around. So pairing these two technologies together was the key to creating this experience. It's not something that we could find a great framework for. There are a couple of open source frameworks out there that do similar uh, functionality on top of AR Core and AR Kit, um, but we went ahead and open sourced this whole project. So if you're a native developer, you can go to our blog, you can read all about this, you can download this awesome framework um, if you'd like to do something like this. So taking a step back to the original question of how do we create value with augmented reality, uh, we had a lot of success creating value in a tourism type of setting, right? There's, I think the value there is really clear. Big open area information that you'd like to have. Let's go ahead and overlay that information on a big open area and help you have a better tour tourist type of experience. Well, let's think about other industries. Real estate. Here's a mock-up of a very interesting concept. If a Zillow or a Redfin wanted to give you real information and augmented reality through your phone, overlaying pricing information, sales data information on houses that you're touring. That's pretty cool. Doesn't exist that I know of right now, but it totally should. Uh, what about education and drop job training? Uh, you're dissecting an animal or you're training on a big complicated piece of machinery. What if you could hold up an iPad or an iPhone and it could map out everything that you're trying to learn, even overlay tutorials on top of a complicated piece of machinery. That technology exists, we can do that, but not very many people are tapping into this to create value for their customers, for their product, for their employees. So some really, really interesting applications of AR uh, across industries that we really haven't seen come to fruition yet, but the technology is still very, very young. These native frameworks are gonna, are gonna mature uh, over, the next, uh, over the coming years, and I think you're gonna see a ton of this type of stuff start to emerge from your mobile apps, from your iPad apps, uh, even from your web experiences. So if you'd like uh, to learn more, we have a full technical breakdown of the custom work that we did on top of the native frameworks on our blog. You can also download the open source library that we built on top of AR Core and AR Kit for that. Um, if you visit the mountain, Download the app, use it, tell us what you think. Uh, you can read more about the entire project on our website, and come talk to us if you're, if you're interested in learning more about it. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Happy to answer any questions now or connect with anybody afterwards as well. Awesome, thank you.